G'day viewers, my name is Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world and lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists in Australia do what they do. Well, good day viewers and welcome back to Colour New Life. Well, we're back in Sydney and we're at Surrey Hills and we're at a magnificent studio in Surrey Hills, the Art Gilding, uh, really, well, Art Gilding Office Association of Australia. Academy. Academy. <laughs> the Art Gilding Academy of Australia and I'm with Bridget and Carl Eggert. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you, darling? Um. Um, now, you came out with your husband, Carl, from Germany and he was actually a, a master gilder in Germany. And you came to Australia, so you've been doing master, well, gilding for many, many years now, haven't you? That's right. And we actually formed art gilding as a business yeah. in um, 1976. Okay. And I will always remember the Cosmos the year my daughter was born. There you go. <laughs> but you've got, you've got, I mean, these days you, you teach uh, students and you have master classes That's uh, right across the year. But you teach people a, a variety of different ways to do um, leafing, metallic leafing, and it's not just it's not just gold leaf, is it? Is there's aluminium leaf involved? That's right. Copper leaf. So tell me a little bit about um, the the leafing practice itself. I mean, how does that all come about on its own, anyway? Right. What actually um, happens is we ra we work with a whole range of leaves, and today I will give you an in introduction to all the leaves that we are working with. Um, just to explain what metal leaf is at all, um, it is very thinly beaten metal and that is what we're using. So I'll just get a little bit of this over here. Yeah. You can actually see, that's, that's actually what it looks that like right there. That is copper leaf. That's fascinating stuff, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is copper leaf. And, and you've got this, this one, here. one is especially uh, look at that. heat treated That's fantastic, copper leaf and both sides look different from each other. You see that? Yeah. Well, we're going to do a few techniques today but Carl's actually been or has pre-prepared a plaque that he's actually already put some gold leaf on. So why don't we move over to where Carl is and actually he's sort of got to finish that off but he's going to show us the gold leafing techniques yes. that go onto that plaque and then you can talk us through what he's doing. How does that sound? Yes, we'll do, let's, I will do that. Let's go and see Clark <laughs> Cullen. Okay, well we're with Master Gilder Carl and he's going to take us through the process. Now you're going to explain how all of this goes about as well. It's a fascinating process. As you can hear, there's a little bit of traffic behind us as well. We're on one of the main streets in Sydney, which is a fantastic place for you guys to have your office Absolutely. anyway, isn't it? But uh, explain to us what Carl's about to do now as far as this is concerned. What is this here? What's that red on there? How, how does that all come about? And that is a special composition plaque and we are showing you today how to do a mock water gilding. Okay. Carl is actually using a transfer leaf, okay. which means you rub with your fingers and then the gold leaf actually transfers to the actual uh, object. Now there's, there's different types of leaf as well as far as the carrot is concerned as well. This is 23 carrots. That's 23. So. So and this is for inside, is that correct? And that's for inside. Okay. Uh, for outside, we use 24 karat gold leaf. And some of the things that you have done over the years are quite fascinating. And we're going to talk about a few of these as we go through the day while, uh, while Carl and Bridget show us their expertise on this. And by the way, the, these two people here are probably the leading um, art gilders in Australia. I mean, 
Carl really bought his trade out from Germany um, 1970, 71, wasn't it? That's good. Yeah, and, and literally, you, you're not going to find anybody else in this country that's as good as these two people here. So, I mean, I, if you want to know how to do this, and it's fascinating. I mean, I use gold leaf myself, and it's just an amazing substance to work with. But, but it, it, the, the things that we're going to discuss today are, are just going to show you some stuff that you've really never seen before in your life. But in saying that, now, some of your big jobs as well, now doing uh, Buddhas in temples, how long did that take to do that? Carl actually worked in Braybrook, which is, a, is the Guangming Temple. Yeah. And we only had two weeks to do the work. He had the help of monks. The Buddha itself was actually five meters tall and it's the largest Buddha in Australia. The monks helped Carl to complete this job in two weeks because the Dalai Lama came out and everything had to be finished for him. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so where do we go from here? After you've actually covered the whole thing, what happens next? Well, the next thing that happens is that Carl will need now a brush. Okay. If you could just hand me that. There you go. And yeah. he will also use some gold leaf. We have taken this gold off when we did other jobs, big jobs, and so we saved it. Okay. So now, to make sure that every little nick and granny down there is yeah. being covered. So that's why this is actually happening now. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yes. And when Carl has finished with brushing this down, the next step that Carl is doing is going to polish this up to a really brilliant sheen by using cotton wool. Really does shine up, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, yes. Wow. So these particular plaques, I mean, obviously when you do your your master classes and your weekend classes and as I said guys, the the ability that these people have got is just fantastic. That you can do so many things with uh, with gold leafing or aluminium leafing or copper leafing. It's they're just I mean particularly for interior designers and just ladies at home that want, want to have a go at this, it's amazing. But you do uh, a course with uh, students and you today you're going to show us an Egyptian motif, plaster motif, using the various metallic metals. For, That's correct. for that. That's it's correct. That is actually our project for our weekend gilding classes. And um, that's what we're going to okay, show well, you today. Well, let's go, and have a, yeah, let's go and have a look at that. Yes. Um, because I think that's amazing. That's just a fantastic technique. But the next one's really going to blow you guys away. It's, it's fantastic. All right, Carl, now for the second part of our very exciting day. You've, you've obviously got your plaque laid out there. Yes. You've got a whole bunch of little bits and pieces here. Mm -hmm. And you've got your gold leaf there. Now, this is a really interesting part from what he's just told me. Far away, what do we do next? Now we'll put the gold leaf on the gilded cushion. Yeah. And then you tap it. Uh-huh. Look at that. And you have to do very slow motions, otherwise it's gone. And then I cut it. Depends what project it is. You can cut it smaller, or this time it's bigger, no? Yeah. So cut it to four pieces. Yeah, so right one. And this then, is... Then... See, so I pick it up. And then you use the liquor, we call it the liquor. And then you have to make it bigger with the pieces, no? See so how it sucks in? Yeah. See that? No, oh, and it just sort of floats into there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It just sort of slides on it. it, it and there's yeah. a, is there a, once you've finished that, there's a drying time for... Overnight. You have to yeah, let okay. it overnight dry. And now I have to push it on. See that? And you just dab that with a... Dab it on, yeah, with cotton wool. Okay. See that? And see how, how nice and shiny it is started already? Yeah, yeah. So, Carl, those brushes that you've got... Yeah. Where do you get those from? Are they specifically made for this type of work? We get them from, from Germany. And they're specifically made for gilding? For the water gilding, that's okay. right. And these are the techniques that you teach all your yes. pupils in your, uh, your master classes as that's well? That's right. There's, the, there's a whole lot of tiny little things that you would never expect in your particular industry. Just little things that you can only learn by experience. That's exactly right. Your apprenticeship or your, yeah. your degree in Germany, how long did it take you to do that? You know, how long does it take you to become a master gilder? Oh, you have to learn three years. Three years, okay. And then you make your, after that, you be a year as a tradesman. 
then after that your master degree. No? I'm sure it's in all the European country the same. No? Yeah. Okay, Carl, well, I can see you've got your size here, it's a water based yes. size. And to be able to find out where you're going when you're putting down your layers, you actually add a little bit of food colouring. That's right. Okay. Not too much. No. Just enough to know you're there. Yeah, just that you can see it, no? Ah, there you go. So as you can see with the with the food colouring, yeah. That's you're really going to be able to sort of map out where you need to go. With that's the right. And because it's a high gloss acrylic, so you mix it very hard with, and that's white normally. Yeah, because this stuff dries clear anyway, doesn't it? Yes, it dries. Yeah. yeah, but not with the food colouring. Oh, okay. Once the food colouring is stays that yellow, no? And we will dry it off with the hair dryer. So we don't have to wait for 15 minutes. Sure, sure. No? And is that about the general drying time of the size? Yeah, 15 minutes, that's right. And when it's drying through this one now, it's probably then longer, but then to overcome that problem, you can dry it with the hair dryer, no? Okay. The beauty well, about doing your course is that you get a variety of people that's that are right. involved. I mean, you've got artists, a lot of yes, artists do it. a lot of artists, yes. Because uh, it's a fantastic way to, to build a, a different idea into your work as well. That's right. Um, and then obviously interior designers, architects, yeah. number of different people. Mm. And even if the architects only do the weekend class or interior designer, at least then now what has to be done before mm -hmm. the gold comes on. No? So they have got the product knowledge, no? Yes. Your business is really a, a one-stop shop for everybody. They can get their supplies through you as well. That's right. So if you do the course, you actually get a, I think it's a 20% discount as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So you've got so many advantages for being involved with what Carl and Bridget do and they're just fantastic teachers and you know I mean I can thoroughly recommend if you want to do this, particularly as artists, yeah. I think it's just fantastic. I mean I use Gold Leaf myself but this is just amazing to be able to learn from these people. Once you're hooked, you'll be hooked for your life. But it's so diverse that you, the things that you can do with it as well, you know, three dimensional objects, two, yes. two, two dimensional. Yeah, I mean, it's, look, it's, uh, you can create new, new things, you know, you never thought of it, you know. Yeah. I'm always telling my students, if you find something else, let me know, we can share it around with other people, they want to learn. Okay, Carl, now that you've done that and it's dried, because your yes. darling wife is also a master gilder, and I think it's great to see both sides of these guys work as a team, how about we let Bridget come in and she can work on the rest of this? Fantastic. And we'll go from there, so. Okay, Bridget, the next Master Gilder is here to continue. So we've got, is that aluminium? This is aluminium leaf. Okay. Do the gloves obviously help to yes. stop it sticking? I wear gloves. The reason I wear gloves is because I feel much more comfortable picking up the leaves. Okay. So what I do, I actually lay the leaf double. And when I do that, yeah. I'll put it right over this area here. Yeah. And I press it on. And then I'll push it in. Ah! Look at that. Yeah. See? Easy. So the double surface on the top helps to get the little That's bits right. that the bottom surface doesn't Yeah, get. and the leaf will only ever stick where we have the size. Okay. As well as the leaf will only ever adhere once. And then I just go with my hands like that. That makes perfect well, sense. Done. So now we're going to do the hair. We'll just cover the whole plug okay. now. Okay. I see. With the leaf. Yep. I lay that double, oh, that's and as cool. I said, it'll only sticking, won't be sticking on the decoration, because for the decoration we're actually going to use another leaf. Okay. Then I go and pushing it so in. I'll just push it in. You see, yeah. where we're going to have a decoration later on uh -huh. around the ear. Yep. No problem. But I mean, the difference being with the genuine gold and this, there is a bit of a cost difference. Oh. A yeah. bit? <laughs> yes, quite a lot. Yeah. The most expensive one is the 24 karat double gold leaf, which is used for exterior. And sometimes we do some nice food gilding with that. And um, the 23 karat gold leaf is slightly cheaper and is used for interiors. And then it's a matter of choice if you want to use real gold or the false gold. The false gold or faux gold is called Dutch metal leaf and it comes in sheets of 16 centimetres square. Also if anybody wants to get any of these great materials for a start and also I strongly suggest that you come along and do one of the courses with Bridget and Carl because this stuff is fascinating. 
Your website address is, my dear? Artgilding.com.au There you go, guys. And honestly, come in because these people are the best in the country at doing this. There's another reason, a very important reason, that I actually want to state for wearing gloves. And that is when you work with Dutch metal leaf, Dutch metal leaf is actually a brass leaf. And when you would touch your, the, the Dutch metal with your fingers and you have moisture on it, you'll actually mark the area because it's brass. So wearing gloves prevents you from tarnishing your, your leaf while you work with it. So the next step now is that we use the word cutting in. That means we're going with one against the, ne the next leaf here. Mm -hmm. I also find that when you have to do things that are undercut, it is very helpful if you move your brush basically in a circular motion with the tips down. That way you cover everything. You also did the chariot for the 2000 Olympics as well. Oh yes. How long did it take to put the gold leaf on that chariot? We, we worked literally for, for weeks. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, we were absolutely thrilled to be part of this beautiful project. Okay, well you're going to be using this uh, next leaf here. Correct. Um, to, to do what you're doing. So what we might do is we might let you actually just do that and we'll watch you through the process then. Okay. Okay, well that's fantastic what you just did there, but you've just picked up a bottle of turbs. What do you want the turbs for? I'll go around the outside edges here yeah. to tidy them up, to clean them up. See, I can just move it along the edge here and I get uh, a really nice crisp edge. Because the rest of the white, yeah. when I put the antiquing over it, will actually become like a stone finish. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to clean it up a little bit to make it look a bit more professional. Okay, now the next section you're about to do is? Is I am going to seal these areas that I have gilded in, uh -huh. except for the water gilded, because that needs to be burnished. Okay. And there's still some areas that need to be fixed. Okay. So, here I go. So what's the idea of actually doing this with the shellac? What's, what's it supposed to do? Well, you have got actually two choices. If you want to keep that silver, yeah. very, very light, light looking, yeah. you would be using the Devex shellac. Uh -huh. But if you use the orange shellac, you're going to get a yellow finish. Now I'm also going to put this straight over the outside edges uh -huh. because it gives that really aged look. It looks like old sandstone. Very aged looks. Yeah, yeah like old sandstone, yes. Yeah. So there's another process after this one? Yes, Okay. because the next process that we're going to put in yeah. is that after we have sealed it, we're going to make it look a hundred years old, okay. a thousand years old, no, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> but we'll make it a we'll um, hundred years old. Come straight out of King Tut's tomb, you can see it. Yes. <laughs> I will force dry that okay. with the hair dryer and that has got two reasons. The first reason is, well, we can work fast. And the second reason is we have a very wet day today mm -hmm. and shellac can bloom. That means it, it just gets like a white coating. And if we put the hair dryer on it, then we create the perfect climate. Okay, now you're going to surprise me in a minute, we just said so anyway, but mm -hmm. part and parcel of everything you've done today is really the preparation of the surface, isn't it? It's absolutely important. We teach in our master classes every part of the preparation, whether it's metal, timber, plaster, glass, whatever we are teaching on, we show you how to prepare the surfaces for gilding so that you're not going to have a bad surprise and you will have a perfect finish at the end. Gilding itself is not the hardest part. What is really important 
is that you prepare all your surfaces. So now I am going to antique. And what happens? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. That's an understatement. You've done all that work and you just painted it over. Yep, that's what I was just meant to tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and now wipe this. Okay. Now I'll wipe it a bit more. Okay, so you're painting that on and then you're rubbing it off. That's correct. And that way it will actually stay in the recesses mm -hmm. and I'll wipe over the top okay. everything down. And when I put this over the shellacked white area there, yeah. I'm actually creating um, like a stone, stone yeah, an old stone finish, yes. Yeah, look at that. So you can't sort of leave that there to dry it all, can you? You've got to oh no, you have to work very fast yeah. um, because this is water-based yep. and I mix, the, I mix the patina already. Uh -huh. Since over 20 years I mix my own patina yep. for our own use. And whatever we do, this is what we're teaching. We, on, on our own materials everything is tested. So you'll never be disappointed if you or the materials to us because, as I said, it's all tested. So, now, I'm going to wipe it first and then I will actually take as much off as I want to. And especially important if you want not to leave too much in the recesses, uh -huh. not too thick, you have got the control of actually doing that. See that? Also, if you don't want things too shiny, you can leave a film, a film over it. Yeah. I've got to be very careful going down towards the water gilded area and get that nice sort of stone finish. Beautiful. Voila. Voila. One plaque finished. <laughs> okay, guys, what a fantastic day. Ah, absolutely amazing. Bridget, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. That was absolutely fantastic. Now, it, it, honestly, to, to come in and spend the master class and also the weekend classes with these two master gilders would be an amazing experience for anybody and I absolutely thoroughly recommend it. Now, your website again, my dear, is? Artgilding.com.au That's fantastic. And we're going to have all of these shows up on our Facebook page and our YouTube page as well and also in our new revamped website, colourinyourlife.com.au. It's an amazing day and uh, really, really skilled people with decades and decades of experience. So I would thoroughly recommend coming in. We're going to head off again, do what we do. But until we see you guys again, remember, make sure you put some colour in your life and we'll see you next time. Bye now, guys. Bye.